you're an idiot like me, you might just want to make a cactus home. And if you've ever actually tried to work with cactus, you'll realize it's, uh, it's kind of difficult, okay? Because you really can't place very many blocks next to it. You can place scaffolding though, and you can cover some trap doors to make it look nice. So here's the inside, and of course you can decorate it however you want, and we'll kind of go more into that like once we get through it. But yeah, here's something to it. And these trap doors are kind of nice too, because one, they act as fencing, and two, like on survival, you do get smacked by cactus. So these, like, if you're on survival, you actually won't get damaged like walking through here. You can bump into this, you'll be fine. This right here is really the only tricky part, is where you might take damage. But yeah, I'll be making this in creative just because it does make tutorials go faster. But I will show you everything you exactly need to make the outside at least. Um, so 59 acacia stairs, 41 acacia planks, 20 acacia slab, 37 birch planks, 33 scaffolding, 8 sand, 1 torch, 1 lantern, 1 glowstone, 17 polished diorite, 8 limestone glass pane, uh, 4 limestone glass, 1 jungle door, 43 birch trap doors, 8 flower pots, Almost 64 cactus. There was a two little bonus cactus. So 66 total. Uh, 20 spruce trap door. 10 acacia trap door. And 9 oak buttons. Alright, so let's just get started. And in proper fashion, we will start with the cactus. So we're going to start by placing 6 cactus, but skipping a space in between each one. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And then there will be 4 in the back. So if you count this one, 1, 2, three, four, and then we can just kind of bring it back. Keep these all lined up, and we can place two more. And that's basically the outline of our house. And let's place a, let's place a few flower pots. So we're gonna have one here and one here, and then we're just gonna place two on the side. And keep in mind, this is the front. One, two. And we can, <laughs> we can place some little baby, little baby cacti. These are just the cutest little things. So, here you go, this is what we got so far. And then, I think it's a good idea, we'll just start with placing our die right down. So I have one starting here, and then this will be all the 17. And basically you fill it in like three rows, like this. So, there we go. And technically we'd be done with this, so we'll worry about throwing it away in a second though. And then right here as well, we can put a cactus and a cactus. And now, with all these spaces, we're going to replace it with um, birch planks. So here and here. And then all these spaces between the cacti will replace with sand. Or uh, replace with the wood. And sadly, like we have to leave this sand here because that's the only thing uh, I believe cacti can grow on. So, easy peasy. And then, just to kind of show off the base too, we'll just put some scaffolding for now, because that's where all this will go. And just so we don't need it anymore, we'll just do the fencing right now. And it is a little tricky to get, and we can't put fencing on this one, by the way. I'm so dumb. Here we go. So, I like to have it so it's facing, like, outwards, like this little handlebar area. Like, this right here is facing outwards. And then this face is this way. So, there we go. And then this. Probably not doing the most efficient way, but it'll do. So I have the three handlebars in the front here, and then two on the sides, like that. And like I said, like we just can't place this one here because it'll break the cacti. And now all these cactus, I keep wanting to say cactuses. All these cacti, we're going to raise up to three. So three total. Or just an additional two, however you want to think about it. Easy peasy. And now we're done with our acacia trap door. Let's get our birch trap door. And let's also now bring all these, um, what are these called? Scaffolding up to three as well. Just parallel with the top of the cacti. And if you do happen to be flying, you just kind of have to hold down shift real quick to place it. Or maybe there is a better way and I'm just stupid, but... Both could still be the case. Just kind of have to quickly tap it. I keep missing. Why do I keep missing? How? How? Right. There. <laughs> there we go. So there we got that. 
And yeah, like I said, just dealing with cactuses is just a little bit of a struggle. So right here, like this is basically what we'll be doing is just covering up like that with the birch trap doors. So it's just to quickly go through it. We'll kind of we'll kind of just place it. And you can just place it right on line with the scaffolding. Is how you know you're doing it right. And then we'll go back and close all of them. And then for the inside for these trap doors, we're only gonna do like the middle ones. We're not gonna do the like these corner ones. Oh, I broke something. I did something I shouldn't have done. And that's just kind of part of the construction work. Sometimes you'll slip and you just quickly build it back up. So we, now we can start closing all these. Oh, I did it again. It's just, it's just such a delicate house. So strong and sturdy, yet so delicate, yet so elegant. Alrighty, there we go. And then to finish this up, we're just going to do these middle ones. And like these corners will kind of be placing, okay, it'll get covered up just because that's what we'll be placing like our crafting boxes and all that good stuff. So, there we go. And before we actually start this roof, let's get rid of a few items that we don't need anymore. We don't need this or this or this or this. And we're going to need some sand so we can place some extra cacti. We're going to need these spruce trap doors, and we'll need this as well. And this will get us started, so we have all of our glass and our trap doors, and we'll get our buttons and stuff and like some of those other details in a second. So to begin, we just have our regular block, and we're just placing three in the middle, and three in this middle, three in this middle, and three in that middle. And then these corners that we have, we're just going to add the stairs in. Easy peasy. And now in this pattern, we're going to go up one, two, three, one, two, three, and connect it at the top. And we're going to do the same for these middle as well. Very similar pattern. There we go. And if you want to right now as well, you can add your glass. And I just kind of chose green just to stick with the cacti theme. But if you want, use a different glass. So there we go. And now we're going to use our stairs again and just place three on top of all the blocks we already have. And then we're going to place slabs on top of these cacti. There we go. And now this one's going to be a little weird. So to get the right stair, you kind of have to place it on this lower half of the stair so that it cu curves in like that. And you'll see, like, I'll probably mess it up. You'll see what happens if you don't place it on the, the bottom half of it. But let's see, maybe I can't do it right. If I get to the last one, I'll show you what I mean. There we go, doing good. I don't know why I keep skipping over. I keep skipping over one. There. So yeah, but this is what it would look like if you don't. But I want it like that. And now, on all these gaps, we're gonna want to put our like another thing of cacti. But to do that, we have to put slabs underneath it, so that the sandbox can fit nicely in there. And then we're gonna do another two cacti for each of these. And another thing you may notice too is like I'm covering all these up and we will be using slabs. And that's just so like the cacti don't grow. Like if we left this open, they might grow and it'll just kind of look weird if like some are three or four tall and the others just stay two. So now with our stairs, we're just going to kind of build them inwards like that. So they're facing each other on each of these slabs. There we go. And then with the, the middle of all these, we're going to place... One more set of slabs coming inwards. And on the very front, we'll place a block. And now to kind of finish up uh, this portion right here, this will be pretty easy. We're just going to place, oh, of course, we're doing so good. There we go. We're going to place, oh, come on. <laughs> I'm fumbling. Okay, we are going to place a glass in this corner, in this corner, in this corner, and in this corner. And it's kind of up to you whether or not you want to... Like, you want to do slabs, or if you want as well, you can kind of do stairs. I like to use the stairs. Or you can do full blocks, however you're kind of feeling. And then we can get rid of the sand, because we don't need that anymore. We can get our glowstone out. And bada bing. And that's kind of the only time we're using the glowstone. And now, we can also have that one torch we have right here. And then for this as well, we're just going to place um, 
three spruce trap doors on the top of all these windows as well. A little, little more decor. There we go. And now, besides the front, we are going to add buttons right here. So I went with oak buttons. Feel free to use other buttons. Uh, we're good on torches. So we just put three on that. It just adds like a nice little more detail and gives a little more life. And then right here and here, so this is the front of the house still. I like to add a little bit more baby cacti. Just, you know what I mean? Just throw as much cacti as we can in here. And then just add a little bit more brightness. I'll add a lantern right there. And now, let's do this door area as well. Like, we can't just ignore the door. Uh, so I used a, where is it? Jungle door. And we do need uh, our birch trap door again. So one will go like there. And you do have to place your door like this. Like, it may look a little funny, but we can't put the door right in front of it. So this is the best we can do with it. And now with all that, I think, uh, I believe, I believe, I believe this is just about done. Oh, right here. This part's a little up to you as well. I just like to do some stairs in all three of the middle. And with that, now we are done with all the outside stuff. So we're just going to do a... We're just going to kind of do this, and we'll decorate the inside now. So we'll start with chests. Of course, we'll need a we'll need crafting table. We'll need some, some furnace. We'll need a bed. I like to do orange, kind of stick with the deserty warm feeling. Um, fun fact, you can use paintings on cactus. That's like one of the few things you can actually, actually do. Look at that. Get a couple of those. Um, so I do like to put my chests up here. Like this. If you want, like, if you need more storage, you can put, um, like, two chests like that. But I just like to leave it open so you can sort of see the window from the bottom. But that's up to you. And for the bed, I just put it here. And once again, like, with the trickiness of cacti, you really can't put it, like, on the side right here. Or else the cactus will break. But we'll do a crafting table there. We'll get, we'll get some good furnaces going. We'll do that. Uh, what else? What else do we need? We need our anvil. Bada bing. We'll need a... We can do a brewing stand. Why not? And maybe... Maybe we're some readers as well. So I like to do something like that. I'm not going to bother with an enchanting table. Just because, like... I feel like if you actually do place one, maybe you'll add it, like, underneath. Just so you can actually make, like, surround it with books and have, like, the proper enchanting table. Um, and let's say if we want to enchant, we want to, you know, decorate a little more. You know, could use a smoker. Could use a blast furnace. Oh, oh, okay, we're just gonna, we're gonna do that. And that. And there we go. We're really starting to mess with this place, you know, starting to look nice. And really the only dangers, like I was saying too, is you can, like in survival, you will take damage if you brush up on these. But... But, you know, you know, that's, I think you kind of came into this knowing there might be some danger making a cactus house. And if you're actually building this, then you're already, you're already crazy and you won't even care if you take damage. But, yeah, that, uh, that completes the house. And, of course, you can try to decorate in your own ways. And something else, I'll, this will be the last thing, this will be the last thing, okay? And then I'll stop talking and the video can end. If you want, maybe you can do some slabs if you want to make a second story and just add a ladder. If you want. If you want two separate rooms, you can do something like this. But I just like, it makes the house kind of feel like almost like a little bit bigger if you can just see all the way into the ceiling like that. But I'm done. I'm done talking. Hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. Hope you enjoy your beautiful cactus house. And everyone will be jealous because you'll be the only person probably with it. <laughs> and just let me know what you thought. And if you have any suggestions, I'll try to build something else. And see you around. Just, just a little curious. Can I... Can I, can I ride the cactus? Can I? No. Okay. Nope. That was that was stupid. I don't, why? Why would I think I could put a saddle on a cactus?